thank you all, and thank you very much to Radek Spetsky, who presented as a premier, I understood right? Yeah. Uh, his uh, Moundworks, an art rhizomatic inquiry into excesses in material and thought. Um, uh, Radek is a doctoral student at uh, Trinity College Dublin, and uh, there is time for uh, Q&A, uh, for a discussion, so if you wish, please. Maybe I can start with a question. Yeah, okay. Um, you, yeah, you were telling me before the presentation about your um, very strong engagement with the artistic presentation versus, let's say, more scholarly spoken presentation. Um, and I was reading your abstract and I was very uh, enticed by the huge network of, of references that you have, apart from the Leus, but also poetry, uh, Baroque art and um, uh, also issues as living as migrant in, in Dublin, right? Yeah. And I was wondering uh, what incidence all this uh, variety of networks has in the moment of your artistic creation, in the moment of your performance, of your filming, of your making music? Yeah. I suppose um, I was, when I tried to think about the notion of Hag City, what this might mean, I tried to unlearn any sort of uh, references that you might have just, just by reading. And I just wanted to start with, uh, I suppose, the immediate. And it struck me that mold is, for me, is kind of an Irish thing. It's like a Dublin thing. And it's, it's something that's invisible, yet we kind of breathe it. And the more I thought about that, I just wanted to how do you, I, I just wanted to answer the question, how do you perform mold? How is it like Hexity, which is kind of, um, it's perfectly individuated and yet it, it's so elusive. So how do I make it something abstract, but yet at the same time kind of perfectly kind of um, palpable? So for me, this kind of idea of mold and also, uh, you can see in the photos the um, um, photographs of uh, um, Irish countryside, which is all, always has this kind of relationship with, I suppose, contagion, or in the sense that, for example, um, uh, last week there was a huge revelation that, uh, for example, on the west coast of Ireland, there's people that are being uh, kept slaved on the fishing boats. So. The whole idea that the Ireland is usually the, the picturesque, I felt that you know this idea of mold contagion could be an alternative to those kind of really um, uh, thinking in terms of established forms. So, what do I have that's kind of is between the the versus tech city and my own particular um, unfoldment of circumstances? So uh, recently, I was uh, I was reading uh, the latest book on Francis Bacon, and it made, and what struck me is this kind of idea of this kind of middle ground, so the ring or or the locale. So uh, and also at some time he refers that this locale is Ireland. So it's actually it's it's this kind of ring. Uh, through which the figure escapes itself. So I was thinking, how could I perform or en engage with that? As it struck me that if you read Francis Bacon closely, there's this idea of prosthesis organ. So, um, in uh, for example, in Bacon, this is for example uh, umbrella that, with its kind of shape. It's, it's kind of, it's like a projectile, it points towards some sort of, uh, it's affective weapon. So, uh, I felt that I wanted actually to start with this kind of one affective weapon that would have to do with mold work, so, and this is uh, things that, the thing I was using to make the sounds is uh, actually a silicon scrubber. So, uh, it's, because the mold is kind of 
constantly growing. It's, an, it's, a, it's a thing that you use in Dublin bad sits to <laughs> actually scrub the mold. And, and, and then it grows back and grows back and kind of forms different constellations. So I felt could this not be an effective weapon, you know? Something really petty and humble. And for example, a welcome break for like those gigantic landworks of Robert Smithson that, you know, he was able to move mountains. He had almost, you know, the spiral jetty, he had lots of uh, resources to, to his command, but my resources are really in, infinitesimal. I can only do art about what I know, so I kind of, I started with something that blocks me and my household as well. But also, the, this weapon kind of needs some sort of resonance. It, it needs physically some sort of, um, I suppose, the equivalent of the uh, Francis Bacon's ring or this oval shape. So I thought about this kind of uh, uh, wooden box that would be kind of circular. Mm -hmm. It also, as you rightly uh, uh, noticed, it, it makes a connection with the you know, old Irish instrument, which is Byron. And the, the way it's, the sound is made is like the, uh, there's some sort of, uh, I don't know how to call it, it's basically the sound is made through brushing. Yeah. So, could this be like the, you know, becoming hexity of Byron, perhaps, I don't know. So it's a kind of constellation of imagery that, yeah. in, a, in a sense, to collapse. Yeah, but it's, I, I don't think it's, I'm just saying this now, but I don't think really it exhausts the meaning or anything like that. Because yeah. the, what's the relationship between high city and meaning is a, a porous one. So it's, just, it's basically it's about the duration and the time it takes for me to engage, just purely engage with the material at hand, at hand and with the audience to engage with the whole setting. That's, that's all it is, I think. So there may be some kind of specific or um, effective weapons can, that can be, you know, sourced locally, but at heart it's, it's all about the duration. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think we have time for one more question, if there is any. I'm very curious about the uh, theological backdrop, in the sense there is uh, both your studying in, in, and you mentioned your stuff in the Polish Baroque as a kind of mobilization factor. Yeah. And then I'm not sure in Ireland, but that's also a proper connection. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's something that um, basically I'm kind of, uh, my research is about um, art, Polish neo avant-garde of the 70s. And the guy I'm researching is actually, he did Baroque in the uh, 1970s. So it's for me a way to engage with the artists and perhaps show the artists my work that in turn, in, it's a form of engagement with the object of study. In terms of, you know, in lieu of just applying the list, I wanted to make something like, uh, I suppose, parallel. And Baroque would be the, I suppose, this kind of very formal idea of, of, of drapery. That's kind of uh, almost folding between inside and outside. Obviously, from being inside, my sight is just fragmentary, it's, it's porous, and it's from Outside, you, you kind of, I don't know if you have seen me or not, so the idea of the Baroque fold, that, that would be kind of the, the connection. Okay, thank you very much, really. And uh, if any one of you wishes to uh, participate in this performance again, it's going to happen uh, this afternoon at 5.30 in this same place. I was so wondering, perhaps we can involve the person that will be presenting a um, at two with this kind of music thing mm -hmm. and to incorporate this in the of the soundtrack mm -hmm. it's a good idea. so that it's molds kind of con can contaminate more mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 so thank you very much, much.